but the Sandown Hill can enable horses to make up an absolutely incredible amount of ground. Look now when we join the Ewell handicap chase here, into view in the black and white is last and a long way last at that. And there's not a lot between them as they come to the second bar. Sam Butcher on the side nearest to us. And Naughty Boy, and they landed together, but Sam Butcher picked a little bit on landing, but he didn't seem to check him, and he's taken the lead now, coming to the last. It's Sam Butcher now from Naughty Boy, and finishing very strongly, Elliot, coming into the last now. Sam Butcher is over it, with Naughty Boy on the far side, Naughty Boy and Elliot both coming up to Janet strongly, and Sam Butcher's going to have to pull it out a bit, but he's going to be all right, I think. Now interview's running on tremendously well, an enormous finish from interview, and he's going to just about get up and win it, I think. <laughs> Paul Calloway, now of course a very successful trainer, was uh, riding interview that, uh, that day. He was Fred Winter's first jockey in those days. And uh, he often used to be criticised for coming from a long way behind, notably on the stable's great champion Hurdle, B Hurdler Bueller. And for a while here in the Benson and Hedges Hurdle of 1970, it looked as though Paul had overdone it. Uh, Bueller is in closer touch now, coming to the second last now, and Rajit landed in front of Tierna Scra and Lone Wolf on this side. And then comes Sanfam, Monroe, Carla Mesquida, Normandy, uh, Coldest Story, and Bueller, who's coming into the act now, into the last, and Rajit is over clear of Tierna Scra, Moyne Royal, Bueller, Lone Wolf. Normandy, and as they race up to the line now, the 150 yards to go, it's Rajit the leader, Moen Royal putting in a great challenge on the far side, and now Bueller is coming up on this side, and making a tremendous race of it, but as they come up the line, Moen Royal is finding a bit extra on the far side, Bueller on this side. What a marvellous horse he was. I always loved the story of Bueller's first race. Fred Winter took him to Lingfield, and he'd shown him so little at home that Fred was really in doubt whether it was worth keeping him in training. Paul Kellaway got hurt that day, so Fred went up to Stan Meller and said, Look, Stan, will you ride this and just um, tell me whether it's worth sending home or whether I should keep it in training. Down at the start, Jeff King was riding a very well-fancied and heavily backed favourite, and he was asking everybody what they thought of their chances. So Stan, not surprisingly, told him that he had no chance. He was just finding out for Fred whether this big Irish yoke was worth taking home. And... Uh, St uh, Jeff King hit the front to the second last, boom, 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 off to win, land this big gamble. And Stan tells me that he will never forget the look on Jeff's face when he appeared beside him, being run away with by Bueller <laughs> in, his, in his first race. I won't repeat to you what Jeff said, but Stan says that the look on his face was a real joy. Well, Bueller came up the far side, Pardlord on the near side, and they were absolutely locked together in that one, but it's Pardlord now in the lead and going away, and with about 150 yards to go, it's Pardlord still in the lead from Supreme Halo, then comes Contender, but this is one for Pardlord, going clear, coming up to the line, Pardlord's going to win this one, then comes Supreme Halo, oh, oh my golly, oh, very, very nearly crashed right into the rail, but he's still the winner at the line, that was Pardlord who veered so badly over the stands. <laughs> It was a seriously nasty moment. He, he, he really did look like jumping those rails, and they're not the sort of uh, rails you would like to jump. Well, we've... Uh and on, it's Dyke Dawson, the lines are running, they're trying to go there. Nothing in it, Dramatist was over third, then Fair Shipper running scared. The battle really on now between the two champion hurdles. Hurdles, Nightmares over on the far side, Lanzarone on the near side, nothing in it, but Nightmares just getting his head in front, he's giving two pounds to Lanzarone, coming up to the line, there's only going to be a neck in it at that. Nightmares, Lanzarote, up the post, a photo finish. Two of my very favourite hurdlers of all time. 